My name is Janet Rader. I'm a gynecologic oncologist and I specialize in the treatment of women uh, with cancers of the reproductive tract. Cancers of the reproductive tract include uh, cancers of the ovary, uh, cervix, uh, and uterus. Our treatment and care of patients occurs in one site the Clinical Cancer Center, which has all the physicians, the support staff, quality of life, laboratory services, um, and pharmacies. Everything the patient will need for their care uh, is located in the Clinical Cancer Center. The treatments that we offer are the wide range of treatments necessary to treat women with cancers of the reproductive tract. We have um, complete surgical options, which include radical tumor debulking, removing all the cancer that's in the abdomen, to minimally invasive surgery, which includes use of the robot, and fertility sparing techniques. Uh, we also have the latest chemotherapy options, which include intraperitoneal chemo, uh, placing the drug in the abdominal cavity. Uh, we're working on a program uh, for individualized treatment of recurrent gynecologic cancers. Uh, we have a program uh, for meeting with and discussing families at high risk for cancer for ways to decrease their risk. And we also offer a program uh, for second opinions for women to have their slides reviewed, their x-rays reviewed, uh, and their treatment options, whether they have uh, newly diagnosed cancer or recurrent cancer. You always have time to seek a second opinion and we can uh, usually get you in within 24 hours um, and getting a complete treatment plan, uh, the complete diagnosis, accurate staging is very, very important and will determine um, your long-term success and survival from your cancer. I work with a team of experts in gynecologic oncology. We are able to discuss all the surgical options, the chemotherapy options for you. We review the slides with the GYN pathologist. We review the x-rays with uh, specialized radiologists and use high-level um, imaging techniques. Uh, and we coordinate your care with the radiation oncologist. We have a tumor board where we review cases and films and slides uh, once a week in a large conference room. Clinical trials um, are very important. We're able to closely align our research mission uh, with the clinical care of patients. Women um, or patients in general that are treated on clinical trials do better. And patients may have the opportunity of being offered a better treatment than the women treated prior to them. So all patients should be offered um, clinical trial options. Clinical trials can involve all parts of cancer treatment. It can involve the type of chemotherapy you get, uh, tailoring of the radiation uh, treatment dose, uh, looking at quality of life or side effects from your chemotherapy. Is there a way to improve how we administer the chemo, the timing, the dosing, um, additional drugs that are given during chemotherapy? Um, so all of those things um, can be looked at. Most of the clinical trials we presently have are through cooperative groups that are developed on a national or international level. And we also have some investigator uh, initiated trials that are developed locally, um, built on um, research and development uh, within our own group. So we are looking at new um, markers for diagnosis. We are uh, trying to understand the susceptibility to cervical cancer from the infection by human papillomavirus. We have a community um, engagement uh, program looking at the HPV vaccine and implementation. And we are also looking um, and working on a program for individualized or personalized treatment for recurrent um, gynecologic malignancies.